Start with breaking news at six. Shock and disbelief in New Kensington after the body of a nine year old boy was found in some woods. The Westmoreland County District Attorney just finishing up a news conference. And we have team coverage. Ross Gadotti spoke with a man who found the child's body. But first, let's go to Erica Stanish with the latest from the DA. Erica. Yeah, the district attorney tells me that her office will not rest until they learn what or who caused this child's death. Now, this investigation started just after 6 o'clock this morning when the child was first reported missing. The district attorney says the nine-year-old was later found in a wooded area behind a home on Hazer Drive. She says county detectives, New Kensington Police, and her office are taking a collaborative and comprehensive approach to this investigation. They remain on scene tonight as they continue to search for answers. The investigation is ongoing. The Westmoreland County Detective Bureau is actively working on this investigation with the New Kensington Police Department. To our community at large, hold your children close. They are our most precious gifts. Now, the district attorney did wrap up a brief news conference about an hour ago and did not take any questions. We are still working to learn more about what happened, and we will keep you updated both on air and online. Back to you. All right, thank you, Erica. Now, we continue our team coverage. Ross gadotti has been in the neighborhood all day, and he spoke with neighbors trying to come to terms with the child's death. Ross. Yeah, you know, just a few minutes ago, and you might actually be able to hear him now. There were children playing. Well, there's one voice not heard from that crowd tonight as a result of this tragedy. So many questions, so few answers here in this East Ken Manor neighborhood. The child's body was discovered covered with a chair lying on him behind a shed in some woods very close to where he lived along Hasser Street. Now, immediately after the boy's body was discovered, New Kensington and Westmoreland County detectives arrived and began processing the scene. Now, as this was happening, news quickly spread to neighbors, many of which say they knew the child, a child whose short life was already filled with entirely too much suffering and challenge. The nine-year-old victim was a pediatric cancer survivor and was enjoying his second chance at life. You would never know that little boy was laid up like that, fighting for his life, oh, yeah. for him to come back full of life. All he does is ride his bike and play with his sisters. And, uh, and for something like this to happen to him, it's unbelievable. It's, it's, it's got to stop. All right, that's O.C. Taylor. He was the man who discovered the child's body this morning behind his property, behind his shed. He apparently, based on everybody who knows him, said that he's a different man right now after what happened this morning. A lot of people in this neighborhood are right now worried about their children's own safety, but they told me the most difficult part about what happened here today is they're going to have to try to tell their children that their friend is gone. They're not sure how they're going to tell him why he's gone. Putting live in New Kensington, Ross Goddotti, KDK News.